can bind you Come back to put cusses on the colonel and them white folks. Mammy shouldn't talk that way about the colonel. I know. She's been getting worse and worse lately. Die hit. That's the place. Get to the shore, Jim. Get to the shore. Die hit. Same as when you and me left this morning. Fifth. That's our old home. waiting for me to avenge him. Hazy memory of white people and white people. 
Chloe. That's her white blood speaking. Maybe so. But let's don't talk about it now. And come back to you. Please. My baby lamb. I want to smooth out your pillow. Oh, Colonel Gordon. This is what I'm gonna beat you with. It won't be long now, Sam. Before you can rest easy. Because I'm gonna work my voodoo. The thunder's gonna growl and the light is gonna rain. The devil's gonna walk on a white man's grave. You certainly sold me on the fact that the julep, with its fresh mint, dash of sugar, and generous portion of real liquor, is a nectar fit for the gods. An intelligent observation, young man. Here's to the julep. Say, Colonel, it might interest you to know I finished checking down at the turpentine plant. Found everything all right, I hope. Well, no, I didn't. I discovered a shortage of nearly 100 barrels of clear turpentine. Hmm. And believe me, I intend to find out where they've gone. That's fast work, Wade. You've been here only a week and you're already catching up with them. I'd better go over with you, though, and check on. Say, what am I? A drop stitch around here? Uncle, if you don't start including me in on these giggle getters, I simply won't come down and visit you next year. Oh, nonsense, Joyce. Son of Wade Procetti. In fact, I think. Oh, my I... dear, young Southern girls don't go in. Curtains but I... on the virtues of Southern girls, Uncle. This Cinderella's been around and has yet to find any lass that brings turpentine for her complexion. <laughs> Say, Colonel, if I ever have a daughter, I'm going to. You have a daughter? Hmm, Optimus. What do you mean? Who'd ever marry you? Funny, I never noticed that wormhole of fall, Mr. Carson. A uh, hundred barrels out of wormholes? <laughs> it was a worm, all right. But this one was big enough to use a chisel and a hammer. I'll find that worm and I'll horsewhip it. I'll see you at the house, Wade. Home, Tom.
Here's some berries I picked for you, Chloe. Thanks, Jim. They look mighty nice. Can I help you clean up out here? You know, I'd like to always. No, thanks. Didn't you tell me you had folks down here? I've no folks that cares anything about me. Uh, Jim, everybody likes you. You don't. Enough to marry me. Jim, that's different. You think because you got white blood, some white man will have you? Yeah, he'd have you, all right. But he wouldn't marry you. Listen, Chloe. As long as there's a drop of black blood in your veins, you won't be allowed to forget it. I know. Jim, what if I'm not caught? That's your mother. Oh, Jim. I'll tell you folks. No, I don't believe in that stuff. What I tell comes true. All right, let's hear it. a mad gal with a great big home. Trying to roam in the swamp. Trying to weep in the field. Trying to fight in the night. In the devil's will. All right. Now I know everything. So long. <laughs> Look what the old devil done give me chow for luck. Go up the store and get me some hog meat and lashes. Follow that path and turn to the left and you'll come right there. Here's some fish. Give them here. Our fishing place. Better go on after that gal. She's going to the store. Better keep an eye on her.
just my hand on that Mr. Carter. Ha, 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 Ah, yeah. It always was, Mommy. Now, you just watch my smoke. Ah, yeah. Go, go, boy. Let go, my arm. Oh, don't be. Come on. Oh, come on. Come on inside. I guess you saved my life that time. Thanks very much. Let me take the basket, Chloe. I'll go with the young lady. Go any further. A little further, please. But you mustn't, really, Mr. Carson. You live near here? Yes, I'm there. It was wonderful you come to my rescue, and I want to thank you. But you mustn't go another step further. No, all right, if you insist. But I do hope to see you soon, Miss Chloe. And I hope so, too. Well, why not tomorrow? Here at the same time. All right. You promise? It's a promise. Goodbye. they don't like, probably working themselves up to a sacrifice party. You mean they actually murder people? Sure they do. Sometimes kill them on the altar and feed them to the gators. By the way, Hill, I want all smoking out among the pines stopped.
meet old Mandy? Not yet. But I had a hoodoo meeting last night. And I'm going to get her to work with us. I've been the happiest man in the world. What a lovely child. Today is the anniversary of her death. And every year, Uncle looks over her little possession. Excuse me, Colonel. Look, Colonel, what I found at the door. Somebody's putting the voodoo on you. Them switches means you're going to get whipped. And you see that phone in the heart of that mud man? I seen that voodoo work before, and I knows who made it. Who made it? That's old man this work. That yellow woman, old Sam's, what got killed in the swamp. Mandy? <laughs> well, she's been gone for more than 15 years. Took her child and went down to Everglades. That's right, Colonel. But that woman sure was voodoo, and maybe she done come back. Maybe so, Ben. Maybe you're right. We'll leave these things here, and I'll figure it out. Yeah. Now I remember I fired Sam for something. He knocked me out and ran away. Folks tracked him down and lynched him. Mandy never would listen to any explanation. Always blamed me for Sam's death. Ah, poor little baby. She'd have been just about Joyce's age if she'd have lived. <laughs> I think you're talking to that white man, and I ain't gonna stand for no fun to be to put you in no white folk. Just my child. Just black in your blood, you is. Just wanna marry Jim. He's your man. Oh, Jim, I'm black. Oh, oh. Never, never. a couple of juleps. Yeah. Make it three, Ben. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. 
that service. No, sir, that habit. <laughs> Take these things out of the air, Ben. And when you get a chance, go down to the cabin and see if Mend is back. Yeah. Say, what is all this voodoo, Colonel? Just a mixture of savagery, gin, mumbo jumbo, and drumbeat. It sounds like the menu at Sing Sing. But why all the drum beating? Well, that's the way they summon the faithful to their meetings. Oh, I've read about these voodoo gatherings, but I never believe them to be true. Say, so do they actually kill people? They've been known to sacrifice enemies and cut out their hearts. Sounds awful far-fetched to me in this day and age. what I is. Well, I'm Big Mo. And I'm Voodoo, too. I'm Babylon. I had a meeting last night. I want to get rid of that yank that bought the steel. He got me beat up. Ah, he is over there. Yeah. That white man's after my child. Listen, Mandy. You's just what I need. When you hear the drums tonight, you come on down in the swamp. I'll make you the mammy lawyer. And we'll work voodoo together again, that confound yank. I'll be there. Show sure enough. <laughs> you gonna meet that man? I am, and what of it? But Chloe, a white man. You know he couldn't meet I him. love him. He thinks I'm white. Perhaps I am. But you're not. It isn't fair to him. You need to fear. I'll tell him. Chloe, you know I love you. I'd die for you. Won't you marry me? No, Jim, I won't. Now let me go. Well, I'm glad you're here. I was afraid you couldn't come, Miss Chloe. I promised you. Let's sit down over there. You know, Chloe, you are a very sweet little somebody. Do you really mean that? Of course I do. And I'm in love with you, too. Oh, how can you be? You only met me yesterday. But I do. My heart's full of you. Don't you feel a little love for me, dear? I sure do. More than I should. We can't. You don't understand. Oh, but darling, just understand me. I want you always. This can't go on. You don't know. Oh, but dear, I want to marry you. Oh, we can't. It's madness. Oh, wait. Please. Please. Our love is wonderful. But today, I want to be alone with its memory.
for the love of heaven. Ain't y'all man the old Sam Roman what used to live around here a long time ago? Close I is. Said, what are you driving at? I heard what you said to Chloe. Well? Her mother's an old voodoo negress. Well, that's a lie. No, sir, that's not a lie. I know. I lived with it. Brought him here in my boat. And another thing, sir. These blacks got it in for you plenty. You'd better be careful. Yes, sir, you'd better think it over. baby's picture. I ain't never touched it, Colonel. It was sitting right there this morning and I see it. Uh, call Hannah in here. Yeah. Hannah, the Colonel wants you. Yeah, yes, Colonel. My baby's picture's gone. Have you seen it? No, sir. I never touched it, sir. Somebody's taking it. I bet it was that voodoo woman, Mandy, that Ben bought you up for the wash. Mandy? Is she back at the cabin? Yeah, yeah. Found her this morning. Go down there right away and see her. Come on, Ben. Yeah. Why don't you hush your mouth? Shoo! Shoo! Tell me what these things are doing here. Floating like David's 
your baby girls. Yes. They kept saying that way when I fell in the water and nearly drowned. I don't know myself. But Mammy told me all about it. Fell in the water. Drowned. God be praised. You are my little baby. Uh, um, what, sir? You are my little baby, Annie. You don't really mean what you're saying. I know you're my daughter that I thought was drowned. Well, you've got your mother's eyes and features. Oh, there's no doubt about it. <laughs> oh, wait. Now I understand, Chloe. Do you two know each other? Yes, Colonel, we do. I love her. You know, I've wanted her to see things my way. She thought Mandy was a mother. Just wouldn't listen to me. Well, it seems I've found my daughter. And a son, too. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. <laughs> My it's nice to have someone to talk to now about something else besides jewels and turpentine. I'm glad you feel that way about me. Yeah, the feminine viewpoint's been out for around here long enough. From now on, you and I are going to run weight and knuckle a good race. Hey, way to turn up the place looking for you. Ah, she does look lovely in that outfit. You looked out for that. Yeah, but I didn't look that far. Tell it me. girl in the world? Everything. Betty Ann. That name suits you somehow. But I always remember the time I first met little Chloe. Chloe. Please let me forget that, dear. You know, I am Betty Ann. Betty Ann, and mine forever, sweetheart. about Chloe. How come, Joyce? Hey, darling, I have some papers to look over. See you in a few minutes? Mm-hmm. Uncle, are you thoroughly satisfied that she is your daughter? Her resemblance to her mother is too great for me to be mistaken. Ice lately. Ice? What ice? Oh, 
more you should be asking. You've been giving plenty to me. Well, I've had a lot to think about. Yes, yeah, so I've noticed. I'll have some time tonight. What for? More thinking? Possibly. I've been talking to Uncle about Betty Ann. We can't allow him to make a mistake. Mistake? About Betty Ann's parentage? How ridiculous. Shakespeare had his doubts about the white father, you know. Yes, but this father knows his own daughter. And I love her. Do it. Oh, my dear. I hate them. I hate them just as much as you do. Look what they've done to me and mine. Something happened, Hill? Yes, I've been fired. Now we've got to work back. Well, me and them have got it all worked out. We're giving a party at the Colonel's house tomorrow night for Chloe. Maybe we'll have a chance to do your mother, my dear. Thanks. Let me get you a drink. Oh, well, let me go with you. No. Yes. Well, doctor? A little bourbon, please. Yes, ma'am, yeah. Thanks. I wonder if she really is the law that he has. I don't know. There's a suspicion. She's so dark. Jeff? No. Good. I want the first one. Do this. My friends, it gives me great pleasure to welcome you all here tonight. Now I want you to be just as happy and gay as I am. And as my daughter, Betty Ann, is. with my baby. Don't you know no good comes from mixing with white folks and black? Now, uh, daughter, you're crazy. You're crazy. Just because you found a little old dress that I took from a dead baby that I found in the river and give to my baby you think is yours. I know my child. Shut up. Shut your mouth. Come here.
something you'll give it a long time for. never changes. I have a way of settling this affair. Come with me, Ben. Go on, Ben. Keep an eye on her, Harvey. Hey, Colonel, where's Betty Ann? Why, well, I don't know. She was around here a while ago. The judge said he just saw her running away toward the swamp. The swamp? Oh, then we've got to find her. All right, Joyce. Well, Harvey, come and go get the hounds, Harvey. Say, Fred, go get some guns. Come on. Betty Ann. Good. Take her down to the sheriff, Harvey. We don't want any lynching. All right, Colonel. 